Well, I'm talking about the need to reconnect with Indigenous identity. And that, that applies both for people who are Indigenous and the importance of recognising their rights and their connection to place, but also all the people in today's world who feel rootless and have no sense of community. How do you reconnect with what it can mean to become Indigenous as part of a community of place? Well, I think that one of the problems with the transition movement as I've seen it is that very often because it's attracting people who don't have a deep sense of connection of place and are trying to make that together, they can end up in their own kind of bubble. And it becomes a bit like putting a drop of water on water. It spreads rapidly out sideways. It's got lots of horizontal latitude. It puts out lots of colors, but it doesn't have roots. It, 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 and it needs to become more like salt in the gravy. It needs to permeate, to penetrate. So it not only goes wide, but it goes deep. And that means that if people are going to talk seriously about transition, it has to be about reconnection with what is already found there in communities of place, as well as creating new things. I think in order for people to rebuild a sense of community, the first question to ask is, what are you serving? Are you there to take or to give? If you're there to give, and you're in doubt with what to do with your life, feed the hungry. Ask where you can be a service, where there is real human hunger, either physically or metaphorically, in a psychological or spiritual sense. And put yourself at the service of that, but don't push yourself in and try and tell others what to do or lord it over, because then you will only alienate what is already there. And that way you get the vertical integration and not just the horizontal spreading. In a lot of my work, I use a model, or I've recognized the, the reality of a model that I call the cycle of belonging. And that's where you start off with a sense of place, the ground right beneath your feet, extending all the way to the whole world. That sense of place gives you a sense of identity. But that identity can be meaningless or even dangerous unless it's connected to a sense of values. And when identity and values are connected together, then you generate the responsibility, the ability to respond by which you rekindle community of place and so the cycle completes itself.